as we are gathered, Jesus is here, one with each other, Jesus is here, joined by the Spirit, washed in the blood, part of the body, the church of God. is here, one with each other, Jesus is here. Church of God, as we are gathered, Jesus is here, one with each other, Jesus is here. Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Tuesday the 26th of January. We begin as always with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Gracious God, we don't mean to put ourselves before you, but sometimes it just seems to happen. We talk of your glory, but it is our own that concerns us most. We speak of bringing honour to your name, and yet we waste so much energy nursing or nurturing our own ego instead. Forgive us the pride that lurks deep within, claiming the praise that is rightfully yours. Forgive us our failure to follow and learn from Christ. Teach us, as he did, to humble ourselves under your mighty hand, so that in your own time you may lift us up. Amen. Luke chapter 6 One Sabbath, Jesus was going through the cornfields, and his disciples began to pick some ears of corn, rub them in their hands, and eat the grain. Some of the Pharisees asked, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus answered them, Have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God, and taking the consecrated bread, he ate what is lawful only for priests to eat, and he also gave some to his companions. Then Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. On another Sabbath, he went into the synagogue and was teaching, and a man was there whose right hand was shriveled. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal on the Sabbath. But Jesus knew what they were thinking and said to the man with the shriveled hand, Get up and stand in front of everyone. So he got up and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? He looked around at them all, and then said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was completely restored. 
But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law were furious and began to discuss with one another what they might do to Jesus. Our hymn for today was recorded during lockdown, as will be obvious when we see it. We sing together, Blessed are the pure in heart. Psalm 150 Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, time and time again throughout your ministry, you made time to be still, to draw away from the crowds, so that in the quietness you could reflect on your calling. You needed those moments, just as we need them in our turn. So now we have made space in our lives, away from the daily demands, away from the usual routine, we are here, Lord, with time for you, in stillness and in quietness, to seek your will. Use these moments, we pray, to refresh us, to feed us, to challenge and to inspire us. Fill them with your love, so that we may be filled to overflowing by your grace. Amen.
Sí.